Well, my next guest is slated to also testify before the Financial Crisis Inquiry Commission, <coughs> excuse me, this morning. He's Peter Solomon. He runs an investment bank in New York. And Peter joins me now from D.C. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Mr. Solomon, for being with us. And, uh, Pleasure. And I know you're being asked to testify partly because of your long career on Wall Street. What do you plan on adding uh, into this hearing uh, that's going to add some value to this and uh, help us understand where, how exactly we got to this crisis? Well, I think I'm going to uh, trace some of the history of the last 50 years on Wall Street um, and the changes from partnership to limited corporation and limited liability and the effect that that can have on incentive compensation, taking risk. And um, I want to talk about the role of the regulators and how there may well be enough regulation. The supervision of the regulation was inadequate. And uh, those are going to be my themes. But those are your themes. I mean, but what point would you like to ultimately get across to the panel? Ultimately, the, the point is that you have to match risk uh, with liability is number one. Uh, number two, that you're, you're regulating businesses that are very different. You're regulating a number of businesses that have become hedge funds, in fact, have become proprietary as opposed to agency, uh, have become uh, transactional as opposed to relationship. Um, and uh, in a dynamic world where there's always going to be innovation in the capital markets, you have to have a, a government, a regulatory system that's up to that. And the regulatory system, frankly, failed. Uh, there, there may well be enough regulations. They simply were inadequately applied. So you'll always have tension between innovation and regulation, between capitalism and government uh, uh, involvement. That's a natural phenomenon. What right. made this worse is that you had a lot of innovation and a lot of uh, easing of regulation and a failure of the supervision of the regulation. So then would one of you, then would you ultimately, be, well, would you be telling the panel then that the answer to that, at least for this regulation issue, uh, is either different regulation or more regulation? What would it be? It would be better supervision of the existing regulation and maybe, I'm sure, some additional regulation and a really intense look at the structure of these firms to decide whether risk and liability is matched or whether you're incentivizing people to take risk because they have limited liability. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and Peter, also, uh, you know, as I mentioned, you have a long and storied history on Wall Street. You're now running an investment bank in New York, uh, and the bank CEOs are going to be testifying right ahead of you. Uh, in your view, I mean, what you've seen, sort of the, the public beating that they've taken uh, on bonuses and risk taking, uh, should they be taking this blame for the crisis? Yeah, a lot of this is a failure of management. Uh, management matters, and some of the banks did much better. Some of the banks did much worse. Some of the banks that did much worse are out of business. Management matters, and management also matters when you're talking about compensation. Issues of compensation are not simply to pay everybody the most money all the time. You simply cannot run a business under that ethos. Then in that view, then in that sense, do you agree with the tide that is turning against compensation to completely revamp the whole structure? Well, I do. I, I, I don't think you can revamp. You always want to have incentives. Uh, you, clearly, any business we run everywhere has incentives. The problem is that you have to have a sense of personal responsibility. You have to have fairness in, in compensation. And you, as a manager, you cannot simply say that you're going to pay everybody the most or they'll leave your firm. That belies the culture of the firm. It belies the, the uh, contributions of the firm. And, it, and, you know, we don't believe solely in three-run home run hitters. We only believe that in baseball. <laughs> okay. Peter Solomon, we're going to have to leave it there on that note.